Yo guys, it's your Yo. coach here, Coach Nikki. Coach, coach Nikki. Nikki. And we are here today to do your at-home workouts, ladies and gents. But before we get started, Coach, there's a few things I have to mention to you guys. As you guys know, Valentine's Day is around the corner, guys. Around the corner. Big and what does that mean, Coach? Big odds. What does Valentine's Day bring with us today? All right, so Valentine's Day definitely brings you guys to bring your partners here to us and come and train together on a couple's training session, Coach. A couple session, ladies and gents. All you need to do is 14th February, bring your partner with you to do a couple session. How much more romantic can that get, guys? Yeah, why not? Let's a couple that train together, stay together. Yeah, that's true. But guys, as you know, we're gonna have an awesome, awesome session right now. But before we do that, make sure to follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and on YouTube. And when you're on their channels, what do they need to do, coach? They need to like, share, and repost, guys. Thanks guys, let's get ready and have an awesome workout. Okay guys, now time to get ready for your warm up. Things you're going to need, water bottle, a towel, and please make sure you have a nice empty space to have an awesome workout. Nice empty space. Ladies and gents, you got your things, grab that energy, coach will give you some energy, and we're gonna have an awesome one. Okay guys, let's get that warm up going. Right, nice coach. and easy, coach is gonna be on his toes, pulsing it up. As you see, coach's head is up, chest is up, breathing nice and calm on his toes. Make sure you work at about 40% your effort level. Keep a nice and comfortable, coach. There we go. From there, ladies and gents, we're going to change it up. Both feet on the spot for me, adding in those arms. One squeeze and one stretch, ladies and gents. Make sure you get a nice good stretch in the back. And you want to warm up that chest at the same time. If coach turns to the side for me, coach. There we go, coach, there. As you can see, his arms is fully extended out to the side, ladies and gents. Chest is up, remaining on his toes. And we're gonna change it up, heels up. Give that butt kicks. As you can see, coach's legs are coming up as high as they can. Keeping a nice straight chest, breathing nice and comfortably. Not too much, not too fast. Keeping a nice constant pace for himself at 40%. Make sure, ladies and gents, you work in your 40% effort level. Probably coach is gonna face you and give you that open jacks. Comfortably on his toes, opening his arms all the way above his head, legs opening while the arms are opening. Nice and comfortable, coach can still talk, coach talk for me. Yo! There we go. He's not out of bed, so make sure he's at 40% at all times. If you need to slow it down, do so, ladies and gents. And then three, two, and one. Let's get ready for that workout. Coach is nice and warm. I hope you guys are nice and warm because we're gonna get straight into that workout. Your workout for today, ladies and gents, is going to be your A, B, A, B finisher. We have three sets coming up. Three sets of A and B. So, you will be doing exercise A, B, A, B, and we will have a nice, awesome finisher at the end. We're gonna work for 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, nice and easy. Remember to take this at your pace, Take a break if you need it. I will give you the regressions. Exercise number one. Hey, ladies and gents, we're gonna get down to the ground. Nice and comfortable, coach is giving us a side profile. Knees, hips, one line, hands, shoulders, one line. From there, we're gonna lift up and give me that beast hold. We're gonna draw back, throw your hips back, sitting on your heels. From there, shoot forward, beast hold, and give me your push-ups. Three, two, and one, let's go. This is called your beast hold. Loaded push-ups. Throw your hips back, keep your nice flat back at all times, ladies and gents. I don't want to see your hips in the ceiling. If you are struggling with this, you go as low as you can in the push-up. If you can only go low halfway, that's perfectly fine. Make sure you get the full extension to the back so you can load your entire body. If you can't do your push-up, just load up and hold. Load up and hold. Three, two, and one, exercise B on your feet. Legs nice and wide. We're gonna have your squat jacks. Three, two, one, squatting down. Hands between your legs, sitting comfortable. Head up, chest up, sitting back in your squat. Making sure when you come up, you hit that full jack, arms above your head, 
feet together in the center, a quick tap and back out. Make sure, ladies and gents, you have a nice strong core, keeping your head up, keeping your chest up. Five more seconds for me, coach. Looking good so far. Three, two, and one. Relax. We're going back into that first exercise with piece of loaded push ups. We go in. Three, two, let's go. Nice, nice. As you can see, coach has a nice flat back at all times. Controlling the movement. He's not rushing through the entire movement. Slow and controlled. Keeping his hips and his knees in one line when he has his B cell. From there, he think that B cell push up as low as he can. Once again, if you can only go halfway, that is perfectly fine, ladies and gents. Halfway, back up, load. Or hold it there. Three, two, and one. Relax. We're going back into your squat jacks. Side drop on the side. In three, two, one. Let's go. Squatting down. Head up, chest up, sitting back as far as you can. Make sure your feet are flat down each time you're sitting in your squat. Tapping your feet on your toes in the center, extending that arms above your head. Keep your head up, keep your chest up at all times, ladies and gents. Control your breathing. If you cannot do, do the jump, just step it up. Squat, step, squat, step. In three, two, and one. Relax. Your finisher for today, we're gonna be down on those elbows. Nice and comfortable, we're going in three, two, one. Your elbow plank. As you can see, coach is a nice, strong core, flat back. If you try moving, he's solid. Looking out in front of him, not underneath your belly, ladies and gents. Make sure you have a flat back. I do not want to see your hips dumping in, and not want to see your hips to the ceiling. Flat back, just like coach. Nice and comfortable, control your breathing. We're gonna go in three, two, and relax, coach. Nice. That was your first set, ladies and gents. We're gonna go to set number 2A and 2B. Coach, you good? Yo, good. Yeah, good. We're gonna get exercise number 2A down to the ground. Once again, in your B zone. Feet up, knees up, all together there. We're gonna hit your donkey kicks in three, two, one. Small jumps above the ground. Make sure each time you come down, you sit in your B zone, then go back up. Keep that knees above the ground at all times, ladies and gents. Small little jumps. If you can't get up as high as coach, just small, small jumps. Make sure you come back down into your B cell at all times. Three, two, one. From there, on your feet, legs, shoulder width apart, and you need to step back lunges in three, two, let's go. Body weight on your back leg. Keep the body weight to the back. Make sure your chest is up, head is up, tight core. I do not want to see your knees exceeding your toes. So then keep them behind your toes each time, ladies and gents. Each time. Here we go, coach. Almost there. Three more seconds. As you can see, coach has a nice, good rhythm going where he creates the breath that he needs. Breathing constantly. Three, two, one. We're going to get back down to the ground. Your donkey kicks, make sure you have your B cells position ready. And in three, two, one, knees up, and now we hit our donkey kicks. Remember, body weight remains forward over your palms at all times. I do not want to see your shoulders all the way here and trying to jump. Keep them forward, body weight over your palms. Small little jumps if you can't jump as high as coach. Keep a flat back, tightening up that core. We have five seconds, coach. Three, two, and relax. On your feet, one more time for me, coach. We're gonna go back into your step back lunges, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Sitting back. As you can see, coach's hands is up for his balance. If you need, place them on your hips to keep your balance. But coach is gonna keep them in the head. From there, coach is sitting back, head up, chest up, body weight on his back leg constantly. He's not shifted too far forward. He keeps his body weight to the back, sitting comfortably, then comes up and does the same on the other leg. Five more. Three, two, 
And one, relax me coach. We're gonna get back to, down to the ground for your elbow play. Just give me a second. Almost there coach. So that's some rest. Three, two, and we are up. Holding that plank once again. Tight pull, flat back. I know you might be tired at this point, but do not ease up. If you need to, take a break, come back in. But keep a nice tight core. Look up in front of you. Coach has his feet nice and wide with some strong core and balance. There we go, coach. Five more seconds for me. Three, two, and relax. On your feet, coach. That was the end of set. That was the end of set number two. Coach, you ready for that last set? Yeah. Let's have an awesome one. Set number three, ladies and gents. We have, once again, two exercises to kill it off. Exercise number one. We're gonna get down to the ground once again in your piece hold. Here we go, coach. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. From your piece hold, you're gonna hit two steps to the right. Pause. Give me two steps to the left. Pause, come back in, and you're just gonna eat that beast on shuffles. As you can see, coach has a flat back at all times. His knees are slightly off the ground. Body weight remains over his palms. If you cannot do the shuffle, just move. Hold it, and give me one arm to the out. There we go, back in, other arm. Three, two, one, on your feet for me, coach. From there, we're gonna have your high knees with your punches at exercise two. In three, two, let's go. High knees, adding in those arms. Nice tight four. Keep your breathing. Knees, hip height at least. Knees, hip height at least. Control that breathing, adding in those punches. As you can see, coach has that focus face on. Keeping that chest nice and tight. Strong core, brace the abs, and continuously breathe. You have five more seconds, guys. Three, two, and one, relax. Back down to the ground for those beast hold shuffles. We can hit the side profile so that you guys can see. We're going in three, two, one. Knees up from there, shuffling two steps to the side. Hold, two steps back. Hold, here we go. Flat back at all times, ladies and gents. Shoulders, body weight over your palms. If you cannot do the shuffles, just give me the side taps, side tap. Side tap, and if you can, you're gonna hit that shuffles once again for me, coach. Five more seconds. Flat back, looking out in front of you. Three, two, one. Your final exercise, ladies and gents. Your high knees, high knees. We coming in. Three, two, one. High knees, do not forget those punches. There we go. You want to aim at the least chin height of where your chin is, ladies and gents. Keep that hands up. Full extension of the arms. I do not want to see little punches. Full extension of your arms. Knees at least hip height, ladies and gents. You have 10 more seconds, coach. Keep it up. Almost always there. Keep that breathing nice and controlled. You do not want to hyperventilate. Three, two, one. One, your final finisher, ladies and gents. Into your plank hold for the last time. Three, two, let's go, hold it there. As you can see, coach has once again a flat back. Coach is this time putting his feet together to give you the option. Nice, tight, strong core. I can drive him from side to side, he won't move, coach. Nice flat back, looking in front of him. Keeping that body weight over his palms. I do not want to see you push back, ladies and gents. I do not want to see this. Flat back. We're going to call it in three, two, and relax. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. That was another at-home workout. Your AB, AB finisher. Well done, coach. Well done, How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm nice. Sure. Well, guys, as you know, it's that time. We're at the end. We're going to hit it off for a stretch next. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're done with your workout. Time to hit that all-important final stretch. We're going to hit it up with coach. Feet together, knees nice and wide, sitting back. Reaching up as far forward as you can, ladies and gents. Make sure you have a nice flat back, nice and comfortable. Reaching as far as you can get, sitting on the heels. From there, you're going to stretch forward. Come forward, tuck your head in. Hands underneath your shoulders, tucking you in. 
pushing your upper back towards the ceiling. Squeeze your hips forward to push your back up. Stretching out those back muscles. Nice and comfortable, ladies and gents. And relax on the couch. Take your right leg forward. Take your left leg forward next to your hands. Sit comfortably. If your feet are not flat, ladies and gents, open your legs wider. Sit as low as you can. Keep a nice straight back. It is up. Chest is as high as you can get it. Then, you're gonna relax, grab your toes, and straighten out your legs. You want to keep your legs as straight as possible. You do not want to bend your knees anyway. As you can see, coach's legs can't bend you straighter. Reach it as far as you can, ladies and gents. Stretching out those all important abstains. From there, you're gonna bend your knees and come up nice and slow. Now, you can grab your right or left leg, pull it to the back and find your balance. If you cannot balance immediately, use a wall, use a person, a chair, hold your opposite ear, arm out to the side or light coach, use the Captain America Superman pose. Nice and easy. Cheers there guys, Superman. From there, keep your knees together and change sides. There we go. As you can see, coach is comfortable. His knees are nice and tight. Head is up, chest is up, nice and comfortable. Using once again at Superman pose. Here we go. And relax. From there, you're gonna take the right arm across your chest. Make sure your shoulder is relaxed, ladies and gents. I do not want to see a shoulder stabbing you in your chin. Keep it relaxed. Pull that arm as far as you can. Stretching out that arms. You're going to hit up the other side. Your shoulders, arms, and back is getting a full stretch with this, ladies and gents. Make sure you keep that shoulders down. As soon as you tense up your shoulders, your muscles will start pulling stiff. And relax. On to the back, hand between your shoulder blades, using your opposite arm to push that elbow down. Make sure that hand is between your shoulder blades and you're pushing it down. Keeping your head up. I do not want to see your head dipped forward, ladies and gents. Hands as far as you can reach them. Other side from the couch. There we go, stretching it out, then coming back in. Getting that hands between the shoulder blades, opposite arm, pulling and pushing that elbow down. Keeping his head up at all times. Nice and comfortable and relax. From there, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Hands up above your head. Push your hands towards the ceiling. Stretch it up as high as you can, holding that breath. And then slowly release all the way down. Touch your toes. Relax. Just let your body hang because you're gonna bend your knees. Come up slowly. And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. That was another awesome at-home workout here with Coach Mickey and Coach Nico. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But please make sure if you enjoyed that, like, share, repost on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope to see you soon on our next at-home workout. Well done, Coach. Well done, Coach. Awesome, guys. Have a good day.